In this video we are going to test the efficiency of a kettle. For this experiment we are going to use a kettle from Philips, which is rated at around 2.2 kW, depending on the voltage in the household. Surprisingly, it is produced in Poland and not in China. Next thing, we are going to use 1 liter measurement cup, a wattage meter and a digital multimeter which we are going to use as a thermometer. Ambient temperature is around 20 degrees Celsius, same as the water temperature. So we can say that we have a perfect conditions to make some tests. Whole measurement test took a few hours because it was important for the kettle to cool down properly to the room temperature. First test is with 100 ml of water. Now we have to make a table to put all of our data in. Next test is with 200 milliliters of water. We put the values in the table and move on with 300 milliliters of water. Okay, a bit of a speed up. Now we have 400 milliliters of water. This will take some time. And it is done. Now, half a liter. Our table is now almost full. Next test is with 750 milliliters of water. Even more speed up and done. With one liter test we will also add a thermometer so we can measure the temperature rising. Here we can see some other values on our watt meter. And it is done.
And the last test is with one and a half liter of water. This is the maximum value of our kettle. And here is our table done. We have to make it a little bit nicer. Now we will add two more columns in our table in order to better understand relations between time and volume and energy consumption and volume. Here it is clearly seen that as we add more water the less time is needed per liter to heat up this water. The same goes for energy consumption. As we add more water to it, the less and less energy is needed per liter to heat up our water. That's why the efficiency of a kettle is the best at 1.5 liter. That happens because the heater have to heat itself up and there is where a bit of energy go away. Here we can see that our characteristic is pretty linear but with a narrow angle. That means that our kettle is much more efficient with more water volume. Here we can also see that our temperature increase is pretty linear, only with a deviation at the rock bottom and top end. Now, after watching this video, I hope you invite someone else to your tea party, because it will be much more efficient and it can be fun too. That's all for me and thanks for watching.